Hey guys, welcome to Make the Tales, and it's official, I'm going to make my first project. So, what it is, it's going to be a total fun thing, random thing, but it's inspired by this little guy. This is a little grass head guy, it's got little grass seeds there. But, instead of just modelling it in a weird way, instead of just modelling it normally through something like Blender, I'm going to have a go at this. So, I have done one little doodle, doodle modeling, so to speak. But apart from that, I've never really modeled it through the Vive before. I'm going to be using Gravity Sketch. So then from Gravity Sketch, I will pull out an OBJ that I will then stick into my 3D printer and we'll print it and make it happen. And then we'll see what comes out of that. Anyway, let's get straight to it. So, I don't really know what I'm doing. So let's just see. I'm going to start doodling. It might end up awesome, might end up really bad. All I know is that we're going to think of somewhere to put seeds to come out of. And I'm just going to go for it. So I'm just going to speed this up. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to speed this up. I'm going to put this into a time lapse because I don't know what's going to happen here.
right, well there you guys have it. This right here is my first attempt at making some sort of creative thing. So as you see in the time lapse, I tried to be something accurate and then I realized this is completely for fluid objects with an artistic touch. So I just went at it, gave myself some guides and just doodled away. So now let's go print it out and see what happened. Okay, so what I learned is that when you export from Gravity Sketch, it's actually an OBJ that has a lot and lots of different objects within it. So I put it into Mesh Mixer and I tried to do a Make Solid, but obviously this is a far too complicated for Mesh Mixer to make solid. I was completely and utterly stumped. But then I saw a video by David from Make Anything, Devon from Make Anything. Massive shout out to him because he's pointed me to make printable, which I'm just going to let the results speak for themselves. It absolutely crushed it. Not only that, it did an extremely complicated object in, I would say, under three minutes. It was unreal. Anyway, now that we've got the final STL file, let's put it into Z Suite. I shall make it into Z codes for my printer and then let's print this out. And there we have it. After a massive 13 hour, oh, Let's sort this out. After a massive 13 hour print, it's done. I'm amazed at how it's come out. I'll give you some close-up shots right now. It's unreal. So now we've got to go and get the seeds in it and all that, but I'll save that for once it's grown and I'll put that into a, an update video later on. I'll link it in here if you want to see it, how it is later. So yeah. So go and try it out. Big shout out to Devin for pointing out at Make Anything, Devin at Make Anything, check his channel out, for pointing out the Make, Make Printable link. It's unreal. Without that, I would not have been able to do this because I had massive problems as you, can, as you saw. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm gonna make a whole bunch more of these VR things now that I've caught the bug and that I've got a really easy way of making these printable. And yeah, let the quest continue.